The NFL season kicked off last week, and our next guest just re-signed with the Atlanta Falcons as of yesterday. He's also an advisor to a new online education platform, Emil, where he teaches a virtual class on financial literacy geared towards high school students. Brandon Copeland is a linebacker with the aforementioned Atlanta Falcons. He is also a member of CNBC's Financial Wellness Council, and he is back with us live. I'm glad to see the Falcons realize they need a good man on defense. I'm glad you're back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad they glad they realized it too. Now I'm, I'm I'm excited to be back, man. How you doing? I'm doing well, thank you. And it's good to see you as always. And I want to hear about this Emil program, which you just announced this new platform for students. Yeah, yeah, I'm super excited about it, man. It's uh, you know, obviously I've I've been big on education and trying to find ways to teach people and and meet people where they are. Um, and you know, we found uh, Emil and and the co-founders. We've been working hard to try to make sure that. Students can get high quality, high produced lectures and, and, and courses in a way that they're used to, the Netflix style format. But ultimately, most importantly, students can actually get credit for it. So now you can sign up online, take AP courses, financial literacy courses, a bunch of different courses, and also get real class credit for it that you can use in high school or potentially apply towards college via AP credits. Yeah, this is pretty cool. I mean, the idea, a little bit of money goes an awfully long way. That's $10 a month. Uh, as you said, unlimited access to over 20 AP core and experiential classes with the option to earn high school credit. Um, that's pretty cool that you can yeah. have unlimited access to all that, $10 a month. And as you know, you have to start early. Yeah, yeah, no, for sure. I mean, like you said, it's, it's um, it's it's outstanding. You know, when when I started on this education journey, it wasn't necessarily because I wanted to become a professor, but I wanted to to democratize the barriers to information, like give everyone access to it. And so for those kids in neighborhoods where you can't necessarily get an AP course or for those parents who want their students to be getting a little extra help on certain courses, uh, now you literally have an easy way to do it all for uh, less than the cost of Netflix. I still love your financial rule number one. My money needs to be working for me at all times. That speaks, I mean, it doesn't matter what, what you're doing, whether you're a professional football player, whether you're in public or private uh, service or business, uh, or you're an investor in the stock market. Yeah, no, 100%. I mean, if anything, this past year has taught us, but then also, I mean, me recently, my life recently, I was fired, a, you know, a little over 24 hours ago and unemployed. So um, ultimately... You know, my motto has always been we have to find a way for my family and I to eat and our community to continue to eat regardless. And the only way I know how to do that is by making sure that my money is my employee. And I just want to make sure that students and kids around the country understand that as well, because it's not something that we necessarily talk about freely in schools, in the classroom. Glad you're back. Uh, get after it this weekend. I know you will. And we'll talk to you again soon. Always a pleasure to see you, Scott. All right. Take Brandon care. Copeland.